In today's video guys, I'm going to share with you one quick and easy tip for fishing jerk baits in dirty water. Here's a good one. Oh, yes! Yes! There he is! Oh yes! Oh my goodness! Oh, he just soaked me, didn't he? Wow! Hello everyone, my name is David Kraus, host of Kraus Outdoors on YouTube. We make hunting and fishing videos and today we're talking about jerk baits primarily for trout fishing. That's what I use them for. I know a lot of guys bass fish with them, so I'm sure these principles are gonna apply the same. But first, I wanted to show you, check out my shop. Oh, I got this nice buck working on right now, beauty. Got a couple youth hunt deer, Michigan youth hunt deer in the shop. Full velvet buck right here, that's a pretty cool one. But yeah, this is my shop. It's about halfway done right now. Um, it's a work in progress, but it's coming right along. So it's super fun to have my own little spot to work on stuff like this. So today we're going to talk about jerk baits. And one of the things that I love to do that I've just started doing here more recently is for that trailer hook, see so if I can get to focus there. One of the things I've been doing more recently is dressing up that trailer hook. Okay. It just adds so much when the back end of that lure has got some white flash to it whipping around because the back end of that jerk bait or stick bait has so much movement. You throw a little white uh, tail on there and it just adds, especially in dirty water, I think it really helps the fish see it and really can get them going. So I bought just a few things here, I'll show you. Some basic hooks, a mustad. This is a bobbin. This is a whip finish tool. This is my string, which is on my bobbin right now. And then I bought some, some Midge Flash Pearl, and then some goose, I'm not sure how you even say that, but basically some goose feathers right here. So, and you can buy any combination. I've got all my baits out here. I'm just getting stuff organized. I'm gonna go fishing a little bit later. But you can run any combination of colors and threads, whatever you want. A lot of you guys, here's my little fly tying jig. Um, it's a pretty cheap one. I think it was $20 at Cabela's and the base um, broke already on it. So I just made my own, but this, this works fine. I just attached it to my little workbench here. I'm not going to talk today about how to tie these on. It's super easy and there's a lot, there's a lot of really good videos already on how to tie these. This is a good way for me to ease into this as well. The fly tying side of things, because next year I plan on picking up a fly rod, never fly fished before. But having all the stuff to tie my own flies now, I can kind of get the idea, get the hang of it um, before I really get too serious. So that's another thing. Um, this stuff, the stuff that I have is super cheap and super basic. I'll put together like uh, Amazon links. If you want to check the description of all this stuff, what you need, it's super cheap. I think I spent like 40 bucks with everything, hooks, the jig, all of it, maybe 40 or $50. So. I'll have everything linked below in the description. You can get it all yourself. It's super easy. You can tie up a whole bunch of them. So that's what I do. I've got 11 hooks here that I'm gonna tie up. And I'm just gonna make 11 of these real quick. Get them all hooked up on my stick baits. I got a bunch of different stick baits here with some of them have hooks and some of them don't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a bunch of these tails, um, these trailer, you know, these trailer hooks that's got that flash on there. I'm gonna make a bunch of them up and then I'm just gonna keep them in here. And if it's dirty water and I wanna use them, I can throw them on. If it's not, this, this I pretty much only throw when it's dirty water, um, cause it's just the fire tiger pattern. But um, yeah, a lot of them, I don't even have a back hook on. So I'll just run them like this. And then if it's muddy, I'll throw on the furry hook. And if it's clear water, I'll just, you know, throw on a regular hook that I have in my, you know, in my little box. So that's, uh, that's today's quick tip for you. It's very, very basic, very, very simple, but it's really gonna help uh, those fish see that bait when the water's really dirty and stirred up. And I think you're gonna get a lot more strikes um, fishing your jerk baits this way. So thanks for watching. And I'm gonna get some of these tied up and I'm gonna go fishing later, but that'll be in a different video. See you guys in the next one.